This is a quick review of the Handtech DS02D15 12 channel oscilloscope. Um, to start with, we can see some of the attachments you get. So, you get um, a, a couple of um, um, probes with um, crocodile clips, you get the power supply lead, you got a USB um, attachment for the computer, you can plug it at the back. So from the back, you'll see it's got a connector. So you can plug um, to a computer and save them and transfer files across. I'm gonna plug this to the mains. So it goes like that. I turn it over. Um, let's plug it in. You get also a, a couple of probes. Um, this is a 150 you can see that by the name, it's got a 150 megahertz um, bandwidth. So from here, uh, there's also a model which has got a 10, which is 100 megahertz bandwidth. So this one has got two channels plus a wave, wave generator. So it's kind, it's kind of having two, two uh, um, tools at the same time. Okay, regarding the probe, I should have get in, got from this vendor two probes. This is a PP1508, 150 MHz uh, probe. The probes can be calibrated. Um, they do come with a small tool so you can adjust the capacity of the of the scope you got it here uh, and it's got a calibrator so you can do if you turn it on oh i need to plug it in first if you plug it in then to turn it on it will take a couple of seconds oh, i really like the all the colors they make a lot of sense if you want to calibrate the scope, you just plug it on the here. You can auto automatically set the frequency and automatically finds the frequency. You can play with the position up and down um, on the vertical position, or you can play with the horizontal so it, it uses less or more. So if you can measure something, you can also you can just count the num the the blocks there, so you can see how much what was the frequency. Here it tells you the uh, voltage. Um, each each, each um, box is one volt uh, in width. So in theory, if I were to go measure this, it will be from top to bottom. There will be how many blocks? One, two, three, four, five. So uh, that will be five volts peak to peak, which is corresponds to that. Um, the frequency is at the top here. I think it, I know it's um, one kilohertz, if I'm not wrong. Um, but here it doesn't say the frequency. You probably have, if you go, you can do measure. And it tells you the frequency is one kilohertz. You can see that, okay? It tells you the period, the voltage, uh, minimum, maximum, frequency, feed, duty, all lots of stuff. You can take that back. Now, one of the useful features of this um, oscilloscope is it's got a wave generator. So you can go and click on wave generator and you can measure. Let's put this at ground. Uh, you can get a frequency here. Now this, you can turn it up, so go up. Uh, let's go um, make it a bit bigger. Now if you want to see the frequency, you just go to step again. You can always obviously play with it. So, so this is a um, triangle signal. If you want to change the type of the wave you get, you just go there and you select this option menu here. So you can select, let's say, on the, on the with this bot bottom here, you just turn it up. Sorry, just didn't do it quickly enough. So go back to sign. 
did I? Hello, sec. What did I do? No, it's a arbitrary four, which is not been set up yet. So let's go back, and you can put sine wave, and then just click on OK. So you can put that, and and OK. So from from the bottoms here, you can see it's got a number of different buttons. Depending on the menu, will have more or less. So let's say I want to change the frequency. Now it's at 170 kilohertz, so I can do F2, and then I change the frequency again with this button here. I can change the frequency. So now it's 190. You got 600, and then you can go very high. I, I can I don't know exactly how much it goes. So it's got. 2 megahertz, 2, 3 megahertz, 4 megahertz, 6 megahertz. So let's go back and change the. Um, so you can see the picture again. Okay. So it, it does a really good job. Um, um, I haven't played a lot with the D trigger. Force trigger? No. I don't know what it is. You can play with trigger levels. Um, you can also stop and start. So that basically is the sample it got a few seconds ago and it stays like that. So even if I take it off, it will stay there. Um, you can copy some of the information to a um, USB stick, or as I said from the back, you can connect your computer and save and record some of the the snapshots. I think they are save as like like that snapshots. So this is, as I said, it's a quick review of what things you can do with the oscilloscope. There are lots of lots of different things you can do, um, and it's basically like all the other oscilloscope except this one has got the two channels plus a wave generator on top of it. Okay, thanks, and hope you this makes sense when you if you want to buy a one of these scopes. Bye.